Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Freelancer. No repair, light fighter only. I thought to myself, well, it's not going too bad so far. So, let's go for another run, right? And I have a bit of time on my hand anyway, so... Let's do a few more missions. Let's rock this. We do need some cash after all, I think. Um, the still about 20,000? Yes, pretty much. Still about 20,000. So, need a handful of missions. Oh my god. Didn't pay attention to the distance. <laughs> We're off for a good start. Got it. But we can do it. Molly's Green 7. I'm just gonna attack them for the loot. Enemy ships will be at the mission waypoint. See the nav map for further details. I mean, currently my equipment is pretty damn good. Got two class 10, uh, class 5 weapons, even though I technically shouldn't be allowed to have them yet. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy to go with that. That was probably not worth it. <clears throat> Doubt I got anything interesting from them. Yep. Damn it. Oh well. Maybe I got a bit of scrap metal. I'm not quite sure, I do not remember if I had any stuff on me before. But it's gonna be fun anyway. So, gotta go behind planet Dover. Shut down with only trace elements of useful resources. Canterbury Station and Kensington shipping platform both orbit the planet, generating a considerable amount of traffic. Yep. Yeah, that that I can believe. Definitely look like looks like some traffic. Two stations, two jump gates, planet New London, basically the capital right next to it, and a shipyard. Well, yeah, I can imagine there'd be a lot of traffic. Okay, that is the lead jump gate there in the very far off distance. I was wondering for a second what I see there. Um, there, yeah. Bounty hunters. Wait, what those mo those were mollies, right? Or were they corsairs? <laughs> Didn't ring a bell that they may be pirates. <laughs> Thought just a squabble of two factions. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, of course they, <laughs> they were pirates if they attacked the bounty hunters. Uh, I'm a little bit out of the game, I think. I haven't played it in well since I last streamed it, or rather since I last uploaded uh, my faction analysis. Hostile ships in range. Which I will soon continue with, um, according to plan, I will continue with the um, Bretonia Police Force. Since I want to get the, um, um, the state police and state military out of the way first. Because those are really the only factions that are severely limited by their spread. Because even the Liberty Rogues are uh, ca can be um, encountered by other factions as well, so giving a proper rating on that note um, is a little bit tough. Gotta have an in-depth look into the other factions um, first and foremost, so I can see 
how kind of effective they will be. Though specific matchups or the likes, I will definitely um, take on at another point, um, which is the point of who would win against who, who is the stronger faction, or what factors, uh, what what factions against factions are depending. <laughs> Yes, I'm back, Wargos. Nice to have you around again. I took quite a break from streaming, but I want to get back to it and also from the YouTube uploads. <laughs> but I think I uh, gotta get back into it a little bit, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, what was I about to say? Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, I got a free day, so why the heck not? <laughs> And I thought I'd rather do this now than uh, before, than after the gym. Because that is one of the things I changed on um, myself. I'm regularly going to the gym now. Oh dear, couch potato me going to the gym. But it feels good so far and I will definitely continue to do so. But I will... Until I'm more used to it, I will stream either before it or on days where I not go there. So, get that out of the way. Um, and concerning um, the... Um, faction fighting who would win against who, I will um, complete every faction analysis first so everything can be based on the facts and numbers that we are already aware of and include a few more factors um, in that as well specifically since many matchups will be reliant on where they actually happen Liberty Rogues in um, New York, for example, will s most likely lose against both Liberty Police and Liberty Navy. However, the Liberty Police would stand no chance against the Liberty Rogues in Cortez, for example, since they are just way stronger there. Just like the Liberty Navy is way stronger in the outer areas. So, um, to make a proper ruling, a proper measurement, we need more facts, more data. And I need to figure out how to do this properly as well. <laughs> how to pull a proper faction versus off. There's so many factors to be considered and I'm not yet 100% sure on how to do that best. So I bid for time. <sighs> but oh well. Only a matter of time. Probably a lot of time, but time. <laughs> Ugly as ship. <laughs> Things are going very well, thankfully. There, there was a, 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 quite a handful of uh, very long replies from. Um, oh god, I forgot his name. Um, oh, uh, come on, come on, memory, don't leave me. <laughs> come on, don't leave me. Um, I know from whom, and so do you. And uh, that that was very, very, very nice comments. Very interesting, um, very in depth. So absolutely amazing. Um, here from um, Fgini, Fgini, or however quite uh, quite pronounced that is. But um, one way or another, there's definitely gonna happen some things in uh, the future here on 
the channel after a few more challenges are done because I'm planning on quite a few um, things that I'm not yet sure how to um, how to put into action. I got the I got a lineup of plans in mind, but I yeah I, I don't know if I, if I can act actually put them put them to practice. But uh, well, here's open in my work. Go to. We've uploaded the mission waypoint into your nav map. Refer to it for more instructions. I didn't even pay attention to the mission in detail, just to the pay, large space station, no weapon platforms, alright, should be easy. Need 14k more, after this one only 10k. Good. I didn't sell my stuff. Shame on me. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> that comment is mon those, those comments are monstrous, but I like it. I, I like it a lot. Um, lots of um, Lots of information in there. And quite a handful of nice ideas. Um, actually, one of them being um, an inspiration for another idea that I came up with. The one that I'm not yet sure how to properly do, because um, I took the inspiration um, this person gave me. And um, let's just say I, 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 I turned it up um, a few notches. And um, I'm very curious to see how this will go when when the time comes. <laughs> Which will probably be quite a bit of time. <laughs> Gotta be honest about that. So, get that out of the way. Moving to attack target. <sighs> this is... Uh, I shouldn't underestimate them. It's easy, but I'm only a light fighter. I can't get too cocky. Can't get too cocky. I can't repair my damages. And I only have so many options for additional light fighters. Oh god, how am I gonna do this in Kuzari? Oh shit! Um. Oh god. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> yes, I definitely did change difficulty. Because this time I decided, when I do this, might as well play on hard. <laughs> I just realized, holy shite! Inc I mean, let, let's go over this, purely theoretically. We'll get to Kazari. I'll be... Let's be incredibly optimistic and say I'm still in the Cavalier. Otherwise I probably get the um, Legionnaire from the Junker base. Um, with either of them. With either of them I can get the Rat in Kazari. Um, I th no, no, it wasn't the Rat. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, the Drake, not the Dragoon, but the Drake. Um, I can get that. That'll be decent. That'll be um, good. But I don't think I'll get through all the missions unscathed. So at some point I have to change to the Hawk. And from the Hawk on there is no other light fighter. Wait, well, well, there is one. There, there is the dagger when we get to the New York mission. But oh god, that will oh god, that will be tough. Yeah, the dagger. But <laughs> in the dagger, through the entirety of New York and Alaska mission, and the following missions with no repairing. Oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> 
probably worth it more to fly a badly damaged hawk in that case, since I can at least give some return fire and have stronger shields. Uh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I did star flyer only, and it worked. I'm gonna do this as well. Not sure how, but I'm gonna do this as well. The radiation. Yes, the radiation. I will have to. Ex I will have to change the fighter. I think. Oh god. We'll see. We'll, oh, there's there's also the heavy. There's not only the radiation in Frankfurt. There's also the heavy radiation within the Nomad Lair. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the further we get into it, this, the, the more interesting it will get, I think. This here is still reasonably easy peasy, but it's gonna be significantly harder once we're through Bretonia. Oh god. I mean, the original no repair was one thing. Just, just get in, just get in the nice Anubis um, at the end of the game and make do at uh, somehow in between them and there. But this is gonna be a bit more interesting, I think. Oh god. Um. I, got, I also gotta get mines then. I gotta get mines. I need to maximize my damage output to reduce the time I'm actually taking fire later on. Not sure how much it will do for me, but I'll, I'll have to try, I think. Come on, baby, all together. Mm, come on, baby, all together. <laughs> That's what I'll be thinking at some point. I know that. I know it already. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that that's why it is a challenge. That's why it's not just, yeah, let's just finish Freelancer again, no problem. That's why it's a challenge. And because I'm not too keen on light fighters. Pretty much a side of the Patriot because I kinda like that one. I can't even remember, did I ever use the Hawk? Not sure, I don't think I ever did. So it's gonna be a first next time. Or maybe once, just like I exactly once tried the damn Star Trekker on New York. Not a good ship, wouldn't recommend. No, I... I, I Technically, I would agree, but I, I, I'm gonna try to do this the intended way, unless I see it is absolutely not possible. If it turns out to be absolutely not possible with the radiation going on, that I cannot do this, then I will consider, um, will consider changing the rules. But until then. I, I will continue to um, follow my own challenge. Let's hope that it works out somehow. So far, um, I was very sure this will be not too much of a problem. Uh, but thinking about it a bit deeper now, especially towards the end game, it's gonna be... Yeah, this is gonna be a proper challenge. And I can absolutely not get too cocky! Ah, I mean, I still have fighter options here. These damn Corsairs! Oh my god! <laughs> well, 
Well, the whole cavalier thing, thing is already going to shit. You did it. The area is clear. Well done. Mission Commission signing off. Trent, this is Judy. Oh, nice. Finally found a lead that might help us find Professor Quintain. Nice, let's go. I'll be waiting for you in the bar. Nice, pretty much on it. Very good. Ah, uh, damn it. I took way too much of a beating there. Took way too much of a beating. It'll be fine. I can do this. Next mission, most definitely. After that, I may have to rethink. May have to get... I mean, the Sinclair mission, I feel, is a tad bit harder than the Quintain mission. In most cases. Dog. Though there can be a handful of exceptions, depending on how things go. I'm split on this. Perhaps I don't. No, I have. I have to buy a new fighter before the Quintain mission, because after the Quintain mission, we'll go straight up into the new next mission. Unless I decline the mission, which I could technically also do. <coughs> Let's first see how this goes. If I take any more damage in the next one. If I take any more damage in the mission to get Sinclair, I'll, I'll definitely have to change the ship. If if I go with easing them, yeah, there there I can get the legionnaire, which I will probably have to get soon because I do not want to use the piranha if I can get around it. Although, although I was stupid, I should I should have gotten the piranha first um, initially and do this mission with it. Oh Lord! And do this mission with the Piranha. So I can then switch to this Chevalier. Or Cavalier, or however the hell this is pronounced. I'm not sure. Cavalier, yeah. Doesn't matter. Should have done that. Should have been smarter about it. But if worst comes to happen, over in Kusari, I can still, <laughs> can still go back to Bretonia and get the, can, can get the Piranha. God. The idea is horrendous, I do not want to do that. I may not have a choice though. At least in options, but I was nothing. When you'd show. Did you find Quintain? That's the thing. The good doctor has disappeared. You mean like the others? No, not like them. This one left a trail, but I'm gonna need your help, Trent. Are you with me? I'll have to be, Junko. And while we do the talking with Vance, I'm gonna take real quick care of the washing machine. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, the being locked in for the, for the last missions will be the biggest issue. Because they will be tough, but I'll be managing somehow. That's why I'm here. Count me in. Good. 
What do you know about xenoarchaeology? Not much. Why? Just let me do the talking. And whatever you do, keep that artifact out of sight. I don't want to repeat performance of Manhattan. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Bring the bottle. Very nice of you to see us on such short notice, Mr. Vance. When you said in your message that you and Dr. Trent were from the Hammer Research Institute in Liberty, I could hardly refuse. It's not entirely unusual for Dr. Quintain to miss an appointment now and then, even one regarding funding. We understand. We'd made it quite a while ago. I'm just pleased the university put me in touch with you. I do a lot of work for Dr. Quintain, shuttling people and equipment back and forth to his research sites. I'm sorry, usually I can find him, but... You mean you don't know where he is? He doesn't know where he is. Ouch. Oh, he hasn't been around for weeks. Probably doing deep research. He doesn't always tell us. Dr. Sinclair doesn't even know where he is. Have you spoken to her yet? No. She's been doing field work for the professor for years. Has she? Do you think she'd mind if we looked her up? No. Funding is what these scientists live for. Well, that and a little recognition, of course. Of course. Can you tell us where Dr. Sinclair is now? Sprague. I'm afraid I can't get her a message, though. It's too far out. That's all right. We'll go to her. You've been very helpful, Mr. Vance. Thank you. I think Dr. Sinclair will be quite pleased. Last week, nothing. This week, you and the Rhinelanders. What Rhinelanders? From the New Berlin Museum. They're also very interested in their work. You just missed them. Uh-oh. We gotta move. Get whatever you need here on Cambridge and meet me in space. Don't take too long, doctor. I won't. <laughs> Academics. That was done faster than I had in mind. <clears throat> um, yes. Sell the rest of my stuff. I have none. Um, have none. Have none. I need more missiles, I think. Good with three. Get the get the advanced. Yes, yes, yes. Way away, okay. Then let's go. <laughs> let's catch Sinclair. Orbit Omicron zero dash zero. This is planet King. Took you long enough. We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Juni. We're on our way. These Rhinelanders could have left hours ago. We have to get to Sinclair before they do. I checked the star chart. Sprague is a remote planet in the Omega-3 system. It's not too far from here. Maybe this Dr. Sinclair is all we need to find out more about our artifact. I also found out a few interesting things about how the weapons work in this game. Your trajectory indicates that you are traveling to the Omega systems. Ahoy, focus. Good day to you. A military confrontation cannot be ruled out. Roger Norfolk. Our oh, destination is Sprague and Omega 3. We have no intention to enter Rhineland territory. Understood. We have no reports of Rhineland activity in that system. Norfolk out. Hold on. We'll take this trade lane. You lead, Trent. This entire conflict with Rhineland is about the damn alien artifacts. <laughs> Grüße zurück aus Deutschland. Toby is now trying to persuade the Queen to ban all artifacts here in Britonia. I'm sure she has her reasons. <laughs> Greetings from and to Germany in this case. There's the jump gate. You first, Trent. Of course me first. It's always me first. Oh. Why is it always Trent first? You go first, Trent. Yeah, sure. You're the cannon fodder. 
if the whole fucking Rhinon fleet is at the other side of the gate, yeah well, <laughs> you're the cannon fodder Tread, you're the first one to be there, the rest of us are gonna use the distraction that you will provide to practically do nothing anyway. The star chart describes Sprague as an unpopulated planet with no trade lane connections. We'll have to fly from here to Freeport 1 and then through open... But I mean, it's true, right? It's always Tread, you first, you first, Tread. Yeah, okay, <laughs> we know we're going into hostile territory. You go first. <laughs> Let's see what happens on the other side. <laughs> but it's, in, it, it's, it's a unanimous agreement, because not oh, also the Rhinelanders say this, also, every every single person we're traveling with says, uh, "No, there there is one, there is one, there is one other situation." <laughs> she does indeed. I think from from the top of my head, I think there is one situation where 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 it's not Trent first, and I think. That should be with Prison Station in Alaska. I think that's actually um, where Juni wants to go first. Trent, I've uploaded the coordinates to Sprague into your neural net. Come on. The situation is really But that aside, I think it's it's technically always Trent you first. Ryland is now in direct violation of the Borman Treaty. The colonies have gotta pay attention to that. Open military conflict since the eighty year war between Ryland and the GMG. Vance gave me the frequency of the dig site beacon. I'm not picking up a signal yet. We probably have to get closer. <laughs> and then there's the situation in the Starflyer Challenge <laughs> where Judy basically killed me. <laughs> where Judy almost killed me by going back into Toledo and she docked while I was chased by the nomads. No, that was, wasn't that in the last no no repair? I'm not 100% sure. It's a learning system for the game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of course, so they can load everything after you get there. But still, it's <laughs> it's a bit odd. <laughs> I'm sure it could be um, managed differently from a mechanical point of view. Basically just um, load everything in, but just show the um, jump transaction for another five seconds or so. I'm sure it would be um, possible to do this differently on a technical level, ignoring the loading properties. I am under attack. Hostile target destroyed. Okay. These guys still fly like shit, but they shoot way sharper. That's not unexpected though. Oh, I know, and I love it. <laughs> Jennifer Hale. Great, great voice actor. And got a great sense of humor too. I realized that way too late, <laughs> but I find it amazing. Here, J Junior is also first, technically. <laughs> Do you think we're too late? You mean the one for Bayonetta three? If so, I've read about that. <laughs> I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings about that. I mean, on one hand, she is an amazing voice actor. On the other hand, I think changing the voice actor for the third part of a series... I don't know. 
and the things going on about that seem a bit shady to me um, on the business practice end for the original voice actress. Um, what they did to her, not not sure about that. I just I, I read the the gist of it, but I haven't dove into that specific topic since Bayonetta isn't really a um, franchise I frequent, but I did read about it at least. Know anything about cloaking Rhineland ships? Mr. Trent, I am a scientist. I deal in facts, not fiction. Well, you better listen to the facts. A lot of people have died because of this trick. There's gotta be a few lies in there. Otherwise it wouldn't be interesting, eh? Killed. Others have disappeared, like your colleague, Dr. Quintain. Quintain hasn't disappeared. He's a recluse. He's gone under. That's what I think. And a man like him only goes under for a very good reason. I think he knew too much. This is ridiculous. Is it? We find out that Rhineland has an active interest in your research, and when we get here, we're attacked by Rhineland ships using a technology I have never seen before. Still not enough of a connection for you? How about that friends of mine, trusted people in the Liberty military assigned to stop illegal artifact smuggling, are gone, like they were never there. Maybe they knew too much, too. They just didn't see it coming like Quintain. Well, I do, and you should, too. And with him gone, that only leaves you. I figure those ships are coming back here soon, and there's no telling what else they're bringing with them. You, Doctor, can either be a live scientist on the run or a dead one in the ground. Which will it be? I'm not leaving without my work. Besides, how do I know you aren't the enemy? Doctor, we've got over a dozen ships on our screen. I don't know what kind. We didn't see them coming. I told you they were coming back. Pack up what you can and send the others to the ships. Yes, Doctor. Mr. Trent's hold. Good. Get clear while you can. They'll tear this place apart. Come on! What was the droid doing on the Junie's ship? <laughs> Not sure about you, but that looks like sabotage to me. Survival, let's get out of here. Oh my god, they destroyed our base, my work! Jesus, they blew up the docking ring. Never mind that. We're outnumbered. We've gotta get out of here. Ow! Oh my god! The nebula. There's a place we can hide. Oh. Quickly, people, let's move out. <laughs> oh god, my shield was down fast on that. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that was hella scary. We're almost there. <laughs> Just a few more seconds. We'll lose them in the nebula. But I don't think I took a hit on the hull at least. Hold on. Checking radar. Clear. No sign of them. Doctor, where are we going? Back to research station. It's been abandoned for over a decade, but life support should still be functioning. You weren't joking when you told me about ships appearing out of nowhere. Thank you for getting me out of there. You're welcome. This is it. Yeah. We should land here. Keep your eyes open, they can't be that far off. Hmm. Okay. Doc. <laughs> I think we've managed to shake them for now. I hope you're right. Do you ever get tired of this? The running and fighting? No, this. Tell you the truth, I don't even pay attention anymore. It's a view like this that got me into Xenoarchaeology in the first place. I thought, 
If the universe exists for eons, I could only experience Trent, you only saw that time. once, you imbecile. I wondered what a more ancient race must have thought of it. I wanted to live through them. If you're right and Quintain has hidden himself, that means he's still out there somewhere. What's that? They found us! An alert! They got get out of here! Where? Where are we going? Please, I have a friend there. <clears throat> yes, anything useful I can do here? Probably not. Can't load any of the stronger stuff. Ah, oh, god damn it! I missed another. Uh, I missed a release. Oh, huh. didn't notice. Wait, let me check. When was it? Mm, no, I should have. I should have that version. Wait. Uh, do I still have the setup? Now you're making me confused here, Dankweed Blazer. Oh, that's what was going on, Wargast. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, okay, let's just look for freelancer. Mm, nope, don't have it here. Where did I put the damn setup? Or rather here, HD edition. When did I install that? Rather, one did I reinstall that? Huh. Could really be the old version. Damn me. Well, double damn me indeed. Got to update that until the, uh, till the next stream. Stream definitely. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, bringing that to my attention. Loaded into cargo hold. That's what I get for not streaming for two months or so. <laughs> that should reasonably be two months, I think, right? I think I made about two months of a break. Um, not quite, but almost. Last faction analysis on the Navy I got done on the 2nd of September, so... And since it seems that the version was released on August 28th, well, there wasn't much of a difference there, and I just booted up what I had. I'm gonna upgrade that to the next time. Mm. Um, let's see, adding uh, base interiors in HD, improving star spheres, updating a planet textures, and a few bug fixes. Um, also a new menu and in in uh, intro from what it seems. Full change lock on GitHub. That's just what's written on ModDB. I'm definitely gonna download that. Um, several visuals. Vanilla star spheres for the following systems: region, Liberty, Britonia, Rhineland, unknown system. Oh, unknown systems. Sweet. Independent worlds and Tau 33. HD oceans. HD sky. That's quite a nice change lock from what I see. Um, several fixes. Faction for the Alaska New York jump gate to prevent it from being hostile in Mission 11. Oh, that is a nice change. Engine to Battleship Arizona, so I can probably move towards the Alaska New York jump gate during mission. Oh my god. This is gonna be interesting. Journey what? Oh, wait, what? Uh, and should. Okay, I'm I'm not sure with this fix, honestly. And sure, Junie will always say her last voice line in New York during Mission 4. What's her last voice line? Am I stupid, or...? I do not remember. Huh. 
I gotta double check on mission four in that case after re uh, after installing the new version. Other than that, a little bit this and that. I'm gonna read up on that um, later, and if um, if I see that something um, is worth another look, um, I will make a quick upload to that probably. But for now, let let us continue with this. I will not install this ov uh, over right here on stream. <laughs> I mean, it says that um, to ensure that Juni always says the voice line. So it seems that there is there might be a bug that she doesn't always gets to say it or so. Not quite sure what voice line he's refer the, the, he in the, in the sense of the changelog, or rather, it is referring to though. In what situation? During the stay on. Fighting in front of Manhattan. I don't think there is an issue with the voice line. Maybe in the talk or uh, aftermath of Van Pelt. Or. In the Mac uh, in uh, in, Mag in Magellan, um, in front of the base Mactan, that um, before right before the Rhinelanders appear, perhaps there the voice line gets cut off sometimes. I do have a, I actually have to do a bit of research on that note because I I, do, I, I, ca I can't think of a voice line that's that's missing from the top of my head. At least not one that's occasionally missing. I mean, looking looking through the voice lines, there are a few um, very interesting ones that I've never heard before. I think I, uh, at some point, I played a handful of them on stream there as well. But this is that's interesting. It's gonna be fascinating, I think. Definitely gotta have a look. And down you go, buddy. My support is Radar is clear. Nice fighting. But I'm sure there'll be more. We have to get to Trent's friend in Leeds. I'm sure the jump gate's being watched. Sinclair, what's your status? Gimme. Any ideas how to get out of here? I'm okay. There's a jump Good, then I then I have to correct a memory. There were a few, quite a few interesting voice lines in that. Okay, let's go. But I doubt I doubt it'll be one of them. I don't remember one of them being a good fit for mission four. Ever since Trent came in possession of the artifact, we've been hunted. First by the Liberty Navy and I gotta check it out in any case. Perhaps I see a difference to usually, and if not then it wasn't bucked for me. So I mean just gotta replay mission four, right? And pay a bit of attention to whether there is a voice line that is usually not there or not. And I can make cross references with pretty much every playthrough that I made so far of Mission 4. Just check it over if there is a voice line that I haven't heard in that specific sense before. We have to head to New London and from there to Leeds. I doubt the Rhinelanders will look for us here. But we need to stay sharp. Trent, take the lead. Head for the new coordinates. We need to know also, it looked from track. when I just so scrolled over it. the change logs. Seems like no there is idea. quite a bit of stuff I for later missions. So, gotta see. Preferably, to honestly, I'm, I'm gonna look over the change log now. Just to just to make sure. <clears throat> That we don't lose on on uh, don't don't lose out on some of that content um, that the new update would bring. Um, better sun effects, set of alternative icons, remove the com improve the commodity icons, higher resolution, space cursor texture. Honestly, let's just um. Yeah, come on. Let's have a let's have a quick look see here, shall we? So, 
what do we have in the change log? I already said added skies, added textures, ship textures, the more faithful to the originals. Right, interesting. Ship window textures, improved station number. Improved the nomad asteroids, that could be interesting. Okay, Planet Pittsburgh's cliff textures. I, I don't think that will be such a game changer. Um, sun, um, HD sun effects, that could be nice. Um, HD mine and spike textures. Oh, yes, yes. Model and props change. Compressed textures, save space, and reduce load times. <laughs> Fixed artif. What? What? What am I reading? Fixed art artifact on Aurelian's lip? What? <laughs> Fixed ridge on the green glass? What green glass? Remove the orange stripe from... T okay, yeah. I, I can get on board with that. Improved several textures, which previously not as good as they should have been. <laughs> Denoise jump effect te effect textures. Okay, no idea. Added improved lava asteroids. Yes. Improved badlands, obsidian, and mined asteroid textures. Okay. HD organism texture effect. Yes. Um, ad adaptive sharpening. Okay. Enter all menu entries. Use space backdrops with stars. Okay. Added the unused neutron star effect to. Oh, that sounds interesting. Omega 41 is definitely going to be on my to visit list. Added new optional explosion effects. Improve the mission and news vendor images. Mm -hmm. So, additional features. Installer updates. Added more pitch variations for the NPC chatter as an option. Okay. Added a delay display plugin, which shows a cooldown timer for weapons that requires ammunition. That can be nice, I've seen that in other mods. Yeah, right, it doesn't sound too bad. A multi intro plugin which shows an unused fourth menu intro. Okay. Allows the player to visit the lab on planet Toledo. Okay, cool, I guess, if it has any function. So, now the fixes, that should be interesting. Um, Deprey Explosion. Uh, trail effect to stretch out to I think I saw that once or twice. Update the faction for the Alaska Jump Gate. Alright, uh, yeah, I read that before. Added an engine to Battleship Arizona so it can move towards the Alaska New York Jump Gate during Mission 11. That's gonna make things a bit more interesting later on. Um, FL plus plus plugin change. Fix an issue that caused Windsor to crash when launching on some wind. Okay. Improved timestamp logging. Mm -hmm. Removed sound related patch that previously caused issues. Yes, okay. Assigned correct description names to the Nebula and Omicron Theta. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like. Corrected numerous German typos and inconsistencies in the English text resources. Wait, what? Corrected numerous German typos and inconsistencies in the English text resources. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, fixed typos and new line issues in the neural net and interface text resource. <laughs> fixed themes in STO3B, Dyson Sphere System, Star Sphere. Mm -hmm. No longer overwrite the neural net and pirate voice audio files with English version versions by default. What? The neural net and pirate voice audio files with English versions by default. I, I don't quite get that change. I do not quite get that. But okay. Um... Black space backdrops, Kensington and water the station bars. Well, not really interesting. I don't visit those. Apply general fixes to the space backgrounds and numerous bar scripts. Ensure they represent an accurate 
an accurate review of the basis uh, of the space the bases are in. That sounds nice. Prevent the Valkyrie from landing on the same position as the Anubis in one of the Toledo Planet Toledo mission cutscenes. I never noticed that. What? Okay. Um, revert the change regarding asteroid drawn distance that caused player ships to not be able to collide with some asteroids. Correct the Frankfurt's nebula color in the nav map, yes. Ensure journey oh yeah, that that I was very confused about. Um make Ozu and the Blood Dragon Escort say something before and after encountering the first hour contest our contacts in Tohoku during mission nine. Okay. Make the edges uh, edges of the job board icon softer. Ensure Ozu and Takeda's ships use the correct engine effects during the Tikagi cutscene in mission nine. I also never noticed there anything off. Okay. Updated the MP rep plugin to fix a crash that would occur on someone who's installed. Yeah, okay. Ensure the correct text help is shown for the change view button. Uh -huh. Fixed an issue that caused one of the uncloaking Rhineland ships from mission 5 to attack the player too early sometimes. We are in mission five. Well, nothing I noticed. Um, updated the ori uh, orientation of the three port stations in the gas minor three intro script, so it's no longer upside down. I'm sure I noticed that at some point, but I, ca I, I for the life of me, I cannot, um, I, I cannot point on it. Um, fix an issue that caused Buno Henning on Planet Burl in New Berlin to sometimes show an empty bribe dialogue. Okay. I fixed the double space issues in Zona pilot names. Never noticed, but that's good. I centered the cargo scan window. It's not centered. Replaced outdated jump hole info cards. Okay, I don't know any outdated jump hole info cards, but I'm sure there 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 is something to it. Removed a duplicate news entry. Rhineland detects liberty from mission nine. I see that. I know that. Um, use correct logos for news items from Los Angeles and Crete. Yes. Made alarm. Klaxon. Quieter by the. Uh, at the end of the final Battleship Osiris story cutscene, yes, please, the blaring alarm was way too loud always. And a little bit of miscellaneous. Compressed NFMAC textures for faster load times. Several Manhattan base textures, faster load times. Unused, unedited texture configuration files. Reshade update. And sure, you see some explanation about reshade on first launch, yes. Uh, inherit color profile. Okay, this reduced the time between weapon list refreshes 2.1. Contact list 1, 4, 5. Renamed GMG Station Glorious to Mining Station Glorious. Yes, yes, okay, yes, I can see that. Um, an ambient sound to the lab on planet Toledo. Okay, sure, why not? Um, icon of the track rings in the Dublin system to trade line rings. Yes, because they were always shown as weapon platforms, I think it was. Um, add a description for the racetrack buoy in the Dublin system. Nice. Decreased saturation and darkness for the ice white blue planet. Why, thanks. Just name it, please, for the ice white blue planet. What the hell is the ice white blue planet? <laughs> there are several blue or icy planets. Which one exactly? Oh, hell. Change the weapons offline text to weapons offline. Yes. Um, it's ambience. Cutscene, cutscene. Yes. Bit of spelling. Revive, th uh, revive the unused water planet menu entry. Oh, nice. Updated the in-game version text, so Freelance HD version number is display 2, yes. Just a draw distance. 
of the lower unknown asteroid field. Yeah, I, I yes, I can see that. I I think that caused a lot of. I can I can imagine that caused quite a bit of performance issues, with having a draw distance on basically one giant asteroid field there, in a pretty big system. Um, edit the mission for sale. Wait, the missing for sale ship in Omicron Minor Battleship Osiris. There was a there there was a missing ship salesman. Edit the missing for sale ship and Omicron Minor Battleship Osiris. Or or is there at some point two ships for sale now because one was just never properly implemented? What? <laughs> Okay, that that sounds very interesting. I'm not sure, honestly, but it sounds interesting. Um, disable encryptions when save game files are created and saved. Adjust next previous sub-target button position slightly. Removed an unedited icon file and several unused reshade effects. Hm. Okay, sounds interesting. If there's yeah, if there's two for sale, it would be interesting. But I could I couldn't think about anything. I say what what other ships should be for sale there? It's it's the order, it's the Anubis. I I I don't know, but um, I will definitely. Well, m most changes aren't relevant um, until we get to at least Kusari. So we'll do until Kusari today, and then I will. Um, make sure to interest uh, to to um, install the update until the next time we play or I stream rather, which ouch could be well perhaps tomorrow depending on how I feel like. But for now, let us continue on with well with the usual gameplay. That should be interesting overall. I guess the best thing we can do is fly to Leeds and regroup. Damn it! They found us! Trent, engage! Stop! Do not open fire! We mean you no harm. We're here to warn you. Why should we trust you? Because we have deserted from Rhineland. Our squadron opened fire on us after we disobeyed orders to destroy a civilian transport. We had no choice but to flee. The Rhineland military is watching all exits out of this system. You have an artifact they want, and they know that you're here in Cambridge. Why are you telling us this? Survival. We need you as much as you need us. We're heading to a jump hole that will take us directly to Leeds. It will be watched, but they aren't guarding it well because very few people know about it. Together, we might be able to fight our way through. I believe them. Fine. We're coming with you. Follow us. We're uploading the coordinates. And straight the other way we go. What's the plan? Our wing was outfitted with cloaking devices. Strange looking things. They're part of a secret Rhineland weapons program. We'll cloak ourselves before we reach the jump hole. They will think that you're an easy target, but we'll give them a little surprise. Yeah, you give them a surprise with your one torpedo or two. That's enough to destroy a whole damn battleship. Ah! <laughs> so annoying! Damn it! The jump hole is blocked by a battleship! What are we gonna do? We'll take care of the battleship. Maintain radio silence. Just getting in their way? No, I can't. Commander Zane, Mr. Trent, we've been looking for you. Hand over the artifact and we will spare your life. 
Have it your way. All fighter wings, engage. Target their engines. It's a trap! Incoming torpedoes. Evasive maneuvers. Two, three, four torpedoes. Question, just out of curiosity, should I include battleships in my? Um, um, should I uh, make a specific category in my analysis for the for the battleships in this game, or rather for the for the non-fighters? Shall I also prepare a little overview from what I can? gather about Rhineland cruisers, corvettes, Bretonia corvettes, destroyers, and the likes. Liberty cruisers, Rhineland cruisers, battleships, uh, everything that I can get. What do you think? I'm lining him up. I'm lining him up. Yes, in theory I would agree, but with weapon platforms there there is there is this particular issue that I will not have with battleships and the likes. You see, weapon platforms. Um, yeah. How to how to best say that? Because I I know a little bit of about those already, and the thing with them is they scale. Yeah, they scale. There are weapon platforms that do absolutely uh, no damage or almost no damage but there are also weapon platforms that do a whole lot of damage because they have some weird sort of scaling system I don't know if it's quite with the level region that they're put in or with the level faction region but making a proper analysis on that is to say the least it is it is not possible to make a proper analysis about them I, unless I go with they have a depend uh, well may, maybe I can discern something about regional wise that in almost all of Liberty they are set pretty much like this and that or in a range of this to this um, throw Bretonia this to this but this this has to be a very heavy case by case and I'm not sure I can properly find that out Dog. I can try I can I can look into it but I'm not sure I can make something out of it I'll, I'd have to check it out perhaps there is something perhaps there isn't Dog. Howdy! Added it again, indeed. Little pause did me well, but I want to go back. <laughs> hey, um, I like the idea. I like the thought. Yeah, 
I like the idea with having a little check on the weapon platforms. I just don't know how informative it will be. Especially since there are several types of weapon platforms. The big ones, the small ones, the asteroid, asteroid ones pretty much. Web nomad weapon platforms are technically also a thing and they are absolutely terrifying. Um, did I miss anything? No, I think Nobody that's I think that's the four versions of weapon platforms that there actually exist. Tobias, we need a safe place to lay low for a while. Doctor, can you decipher the writing on the artifact? I can do most. I may still have a look on it though. I need Quentin. I mean, if I can find out a few more things on that note, then I will probably make a video for that as well. Look. This may take some time. Sinclair will do everything she can with her work, and I'll dig around for any. I will, in turn, campaign. probably include station a uh, station weaponry as well, anyway, but only in broad strokes. Like things Just things that go for what? you know um, defensive mechanisms or so. I will probably make it everything about defensive mechanisms, base defenses, base turrets, base weapon platforms how they are used and or misused because I do remember one particular station I think it was one in um, I think it was the military research station Kansai in um, Honshu that has the weapon platforms pretty much all face the wrong direction or something like that perhaps I, I'm at the, at the wrong station right now but I know there is a place that has Pretty much all the small weapon platforms that can only shoot towards one side uh, have it faced into the totally wrong direction. <laughs> Which I find hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I took quite a bit of damage here. Now I gotta make more cash, and I gotta figure out a way on how to properly do that. I think I will now go for the Legionnaire, and before loot the wreck in the um, radiation field over there in New London. I think I will do that. And with a tiny bit of luck, that puts me up for the level requirement. And then after the level up, I can simply buy the new ship without having any penalties. I think this is my game plan for this for right this situation. I think this is about the best I can do. Make it quick and make the ship exchange even more worth. Dark, dark in use. Because if I gotta change it anyway, might as well, might as well bring in a hunk of junk that's just on fire. <laughs> like my Anubis after the last not no repair. <laughs> that flaming piece of scrap metal I was flying it towards the end. <laughs> oh that was wonderful. <laughs> Ah, that was wonderful. <sighs> Dark. Come on, can't say it wasn't beautiful. <laughs> Just a flaming Anubis with just an inch of armor left. <laughs> Where pretty much a wet tissue paper could have killed me. Why are the bounty hunters hostile again? This is bullshit. I wanna land. I wanna dock. I wanna dock. I wanna dock. Thank you. Because primarily I wanna repair here. Uh, save here. Just in case the whole thing with the radiation goes horribly south. This is Southampton Shipyard. You are cleared for launch. Good luck out there. Oh my god, just shoot one another, why don't you? Leave me alone.
Wonderful. Leave me alone. So, where was that again? I think uh, somewhere there. Oh, I think it was somewhere around that direction. I see the... yeah, I see the hazard buoys already. Let's see... if I can survive this. With below half health. So I'm probably at about a thousand hull or a little below. Perhaps a little bit below. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Let's see if this is a horrible idea or not. Sadly, I'm not 100% sure about the exact location of this one. Go to. I think I have to go more towards this direction. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. There it is. Cargo yes. of Cardamine. Trent, I have news. Dr. Sinclair has made good progress in analyzing the artifact. Very good. That is the level up. Now I just gotta Quintain. get out of here. Our lead is a pilot Quintain sometimes works with. A guy named Dexter Hovis. Um, down He's there is the boys. Oh god. An abandoned battleship in the Dublin system. You should start there. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Yes! I did it! <laughs> what did I say? I, I give them a flaming piece of scrap metal! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I, ca I cannot fight! <laughs> I absolutely cannot fight! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was so close. Uh, could have st stuck around for for another second. Would have been the end of me, but hey, ironically enough this thing is way stronger anyway. Oh. Good. Oh yes, I get the dragoon. Oh, I love those weapons. And they have higher range, I'm gonna... You know what? Uh, I will not be using any turrets anyway, I'll, I'll keep using those two though. Um, put that away, put this away, put this in. Sell and sell. Honestly, I can get a better price for a card of mine elsewhere. Um, so... Boy, the ship. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, I'm kinda used to see my ship on fire these days. Especially after the last challenge. That was way, way worse. <laughs> because this time at least there was nobody really shooting at me. So, I guess that's a win. Yes, exactly. Now this ship is a threat. Yes. The rogue fighter is just a joke, but it did its job. So, I suppose. <laughs> oh my god. So many. I don't want to fight you. Piss off. How are you faster? <laughs> Go away.
That's right, you better deal with one another! <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm gonna, gonna go that way directly. Okay. Now I actually gotta think about how I do this. No, no, I, I will... Mm, mm, I will continue to use the sky... another sky rail and change to the pyros again, I think. If only because, because I, I only have... It is the only web... No, wait. I can't get a ripper. Yeah, yep, yeah, that'll do. Um, to be ex to be absolutely fair, though, in um, in the defense of the Bloodhound, actually, um, the fighter, purely stat-wise, is actually pretty decent. Class four weapons, class four shield, a turret. It's all nice and dandy. Problem is, it's got only three. Um, uh, it's got only three weapons and one turret. It means its overall firepower isn't as high as it could be. But the biggest issue, aside of being ugly as hell, with that shit, I uh, ship, <laughs> with that ship, is that it's um, it's way too big. It's a, good, I mean, let 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 me put it this way. If you can't hit the broad side of a barn, you can still hit the blood out. Same goes for the wolfhound, by the way. Stat-wise, ship isn't all that bad, but holy shit! If you can't hit the front, uh, the the broad side of a barn, you, you're you're gonna hit that one for sure. It's just way too massive. Thing is just way too massive, and this is actually pretty nimble. It's a good ship. The Legionnaire. I underestimated it until I flew it myself. So now gotta grab a weapon real quick. There is no scripted events or so that I could destroy now by docking somewhere else again. And I can get rid of my cardamine here. But I got that out of the way as well. Of course, new lo Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. I'm gonna continue to carry them with me then. Just keeping my drugs, yeah? I'm, I'm a courier. Let me... For fuck's sake. <clears> hmm. <throat> Actually, oops, before I forget it, I gotta take a very quick look to the washing machine, if everything is alright. I think it's done. One second. Alright, having returned, I see Warghost, if you're still there, I'll hope to see you soon. Otherwise, um, I'm hoping you're having a good one anyway. <laughs> if you're watching this afterwards. <coughs> <coughs> And greetings to you once more, uh, <laughs> and Lara. Good. Gotta do a bit of stuff here before the end of the stream today. Gotta grab Quintain and make it to Kazari, and there's gonna be the cut. 
target. Leave me alone. Enemy destroyed. Leave me alone. Dark. Good. Yeah, okay. Gotta fight these guys, otherwise I can't get out. At least I'm reasonably sure they will not let me go. But are you really alright? And dead. Wonderful. Let's get going. Hmm. Got some oxygen as well. But I do hope I get a good price for my car to mine. Or at least a 750 I get pretty much everywhere. Preferably I would get that on the hood. Before taking in more H fuel. Um, quick look, Planet Elites would also be, yes, the default value. Wonderful. I'm taking on IMG Red 14. Um, and don't mind if I just leave. <laughs> yeah, poor sod, you're dead. Although he is not too badly armed, for being Thank honest. You. Two class 6 weapons and a class 4 on a staff on a star tracker. Jesus Christ, kids, don't cr don't cry like you're getting stabbed out there. <clears throat> Whole load of transports. Why did two transports there just disappear on me? What the hell? Nah, doesn't matter, I guess. Let's go. Dock. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. This is the hood. We see you on our scope. Transmit your ID code and designate. Looking for a guy named Dexter Hovis. Have you seen him? Yeah. <sighs> you Dexter Hovis? I'm Hovis. I'm a friend of Quintain's. I understand you do some work for him every now and then. I've got You know, I I'd love to spend all day John with you, Bretonian, but I really only talk to racers. Unless, of course, you are a racer and you're looking for a challenge. Say, me, perhaps. In that case, I'll talk to you all day. Providing, of course, you live. You see, I have a hard time finding people who race against me. What do you say, Tenderfoot? You're on. Good, I'll meet you outside. Burn. But hey, that's 
surprise the sportsmanship. I may surprise you, Hovis. We'll see soon enough, won't we? Welcome, racers. You have selected a one-lap race. Do you need a review of the regulations? Of course I don't, you hunk of junk. I built this damn thing, but its memory banks are busted. Simple rules, Bretonian. One round, no shooting or bumping, and if you stink it up or chicken out on the course, you'll make me angry. And you don't want that. You ready? Of course I'm ready. I always say this, but I can't say it often enough. I would love Three, for it to be more of a racing culture here. Two, Especially since it's just this one mission. One. There is nothing else here. You can't bet, you can't race. There's not even just people, just, just people racing here. Usually it's just pirate infested this area. It is so sad. I would love nothing more than to sp have some proper racing here. I guess racing in Freelancer is pretty fun. <laughs> the newcomer is leading at the halfway mark. Damn, give him something to think about, boys. Trent leads as they come down the final stretch. Hovis, you gotta turn it up. Nah, Hovis is way too slow. Whoopa! Damn, Tony, not bad. Cease fire, boys! Trent, no hard feelings. Unbelievable! Right? I can't believe it! Okay, I'll tell you what you want to know. But not over the comm channel. Meet me on the deck of the hood. How is this getting old? <laughs> Well, I dare say this was a pretty good race. <laughs> Would love it to be more interesting, but I. Dock, docking, not allowed. Dock, oh, docking, come on! Am I too fast for you again, Hovis? <laughs> Seems like I am. A fine race, Batoni, and I haven't felt a challenge in years. Now tell me about Quintain. Is he here? Here? No. He contacted me to take him even further into the asteroid field to an abandoned mining station called the Glorious. He's holed up with the pirates that took it over. He said he needed to disappear for a while. But naturally, you didn't hear any of this from me. Naturally. Now how do I get there? Take the old trade lane into the asteroid field. But be careful. The lane isn't stable. Sometimes the asteroids can get through. And watch out for a group of Rhinelanders that was headed that way. They didn't look too friendly. Did they race? Ha, ah, no. They're too yellow. Hey, Bretonian, if it don't work out, you know, you can always come back and race with us. Damn it, I had children. So very loud. Not sure how often I said this, but this is so cheap how they did this mission. Which is sad. Which is really sad. I just have the station pop up here when you weren't racing, just a few meters next to it, basically. Destroy the 
Um, honestly, I'd rather take down the fighters first. As a light fighter, I feel like those are a bit more in my pay range, you know? Especially since my allies here are doing nothing, really. Side of taking some fire. Ow! Ow! Oh, this is bad. Shield restored. Incoming missile. Incoming missile. There's only one of their fighters left. Being pursued. <laughs> Supremely annoying. Shield failed. <laughs> shield restored. Incoming missile. I mean, all under control. Incoming missile. Well, they can't hit it unless with their with their missiles. Incoming missile. Oh no, there was another hit. Come on, you can do it! Jesus Christ, you're all so bad. We got the gunship. Thanks for your help, stranger. You're cleared to land. Doc. well out there. Come on. Someone wants to have a look at you. <laughs> Dr. Quintain. And who are you? The name's Trent. Dr. Sinclair sent me to find I you. find that hard to believe, since she has no idea where I am. Now, who sent you? I already told you. Enough! You do understand that with the appearance of our Rhineland friends, I'm hesitant to take too many chances. But I fought them too. Yes, and I wanted to thank you for your help. Push him out of the airlock. Wait, wait! I have the Dom Kavash artifact. What did you say? I have your artifact. The one Sinclair lost on Pygar. I found it. That's why I came. I don't suspect you have it with you. No, that would be too easy. So where is it then? Sinclair's working on it back on Leeds in hiding. But she can't decipher it on her own. She needs your help. Very well, Mr. Trent. I will go back with you, but on one condition. What's that? That we not go alone. All right. Gonna pick up more. Loaded Come on. Into cargo hold. Just make them fall. I don't want to. I don't want to eat all those missiles. Jump hold leads is phase aligned right now. We should be able to take it safely. 
I'm uploading the coordinates. Mr. Trent, you take point. And why don't we just you take the direct way? Light on our culture. All right. It's an ambush. Incoming missile. My cruise engines are down. Perez and Wallace protect Quintain. Mr. Trent, let's take down the gunship. They don't even have cruise disruptors. In a moment. Let us finish play with the Rhinelanders. All systems are offline. The gunship is down! That was close. Let's get out of here. Mr. Trent, take the lead. Yeah, come on, Quintain. I'm gonna pick you up. Go to. <laughs> I'm not happy with how many hits I took here so far. bad hits in but I'm gonna continue with the legionnaire beca only because I probably still have about as much armor left as I would have with the piranha with with worse potential shields and even worse potential weaponry so I'm, I'm gonna stick with this but I gotta be more careful. If I get hit with a missile, I'm pretty much done for. They do way too much damage for me to just shrug off. At least when my shield is down. When my shield is down, I cannot take a single missile. Good. Otherwise, this whole challenge will collapse onto me. Dog. Mr. Trent, you dock first, and we'll follow you through. On my way, Quintain. This time, it, it even makes sense to send someone we'll first as the. Uh, we should be safe now. Just to make sure it's kind of safeish. Mr. Trent, you have the coordinates to lead. Take point. I actually haven't seen Dr. Sinclair in years. She sent me a message a while back that she had made a discovery on Pygar. Finally, a damn Kavosh artifact that's still active. Exactly, Quintain, and that's what we're on about. I can't wait to see it. Amazon, turn around. See you later. I'll meet you down on the planet, Mr. Trent. You go first. I would prefer it if they were to follow. And just come with us. You know? More escort? But I will. Suppose I want too much. Wonderful doing business with you. Good night. Tobias. 
Yeah. Who's this then? This is Dr. Quintain. He's a professor. Him? No. What field? I'll have you know, sir, I am the foremost authority on xenoarchaeology. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> come on, Mr. Wizard. I expect you've come to see the missus. Quintain! Damn it, I am mad as hell at you. What happened? Where have you been? I had to go away, Kendra. Not long after you made your discovery, things began to happen. People around me started to go missing. Then I came back one night to find my lab turned upside down and noticed I was being followed. By whom? A man named Cress. He told me I was on a list, but my work had put me in great jeopardy. I left that night and didn't look back. So, you see, I couldn't tell anyone. Especially you. I thought you'd become a target as well. She already is. We all are. Because of this. This is it. May I? It's magnificent. Yes, it is. But it's obviously part of something more significant. It's time you and I figured out what that is. Look, I hate to rush this reunion along. Someone's here. I'll take care of it. Hello, my friends. What is it I can get for you today? We are looking for a man. We have reason to believe he's in the area. Mm, nice looking chap. Sorry, you haven't seen him. He is considered an enemy of Rhineland. Anyone caught hiding him would face severe consequences. Listen to me. You are not in Rhineland now. You're in my shop. I've already told you the man you're looking for isn't here, so unless you'd like an education in foreign policy that you won't soon forget, I suggest you move along. Now! We can be patient, Mr. Tobias. Rest assured, we won't be far. No. I'm sure you won't be. It's just a matter of time before they'll be back. She's right. Now that they've got your scent, it's not safe here anymore. Cress. The night he came, he offered me a place to hide in the border worlds. Maybe now is a good time to take him up on it. But do you trust him? I'd rather take my chances with him than those Rhineland agents. We need you now, Trent. Ready? All right, let's go. Now I want you to get clear of this place for a while. I'm not going to be... Just until this blows over. I'll be back when I can. Take care of yourself, old man. Wonderful, I have a level up, but I can't really do much with it. <sighs> huh. okay. Yeah, why the heck not? Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. I mean, not like I'm missing much. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, let's go. There you are, Trent. Do you think Tobias will be all right? Maybe he should come with us. Tobias is better off far away from us. As long as we have the artifact, none of us will be safe. We'll be lucky to get out of here in one piece. We should take the trade lane to Stokes, and from there we'll jump to the Tau 31 system. We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. Contains just blasting. I have a ship on my tail. We'll meet again. You'll never make it out of Gratonia alive. I don't see any more. Damn it, he cloaked. 
Yeah, we do that. I cannot believe they continue to attack us in the middle of Bretonia territory. Where have you been, Professor? The colonies are at the brink of war. Ryland ships have been sighted in just about every system. And why do that you know why do you know that, Juni? Honestly. What do we do? We fight. We're coming up on Stokes. Stay sharp. Whoa. And there they enter the trade lane. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I told you we'd meet again. For the last time, surrender the artifact. Come and take it. We've got incoming. Trent, keep them away from Sinclair and Quintain. This is Stokes Smelter. We are on. Got one. A little bit too close for comfort. Large numbers of Rhineland ships have been reported throughout Leeds. We recommend you land and wait till the crisis is over. Yeah. Negative, Stokes. There's no time. We have to get out of Leeds. Trent, take the trade lane. Stop. But I'm not sure. Did, did I even take any damage directly? I mean, I don't think I did. Lucky me if I didn't. Let's hope the jump gate is clear. It's the only way out of Leeds. Trent, Sinclair, and Quintain need enough time to get through the gate. No matter what awaits us there, we have to buy them as much time as we can, and then jump to Town 31. Get ready. Oh my god, a Rhinelander cruiser is blocking the gate! We don't stand a chance! This is the end. You have nowhere else to run. Give up! Now! Trent, engage the cruiser. Try to knock out their turrets. I will most definitely not engage the cruiser, Judy. You fools! You will be destroyed. Ah, and from there comes Tobias and friends. Open fire, chaps. God, I can't hit anything right now. If only those would be rogues, I would hit them like nothing else. Because their ships is just a big target. Their ships are just a big target. Oh, the cruiser is closing in. Why is it not dead? Why is it not dead? Oh, the cruiser is going down. How oh, wonderful. Now, be careful. Don't get too cocky. This is Glasgow. Perfect. Is clear. No more enemy Welcome back. Um, so far, it's all going reasonably well. Most interesting part is soon to come, I think.
though I have to excuse myself for about two more minutes. Uh, yeah, more household. <laughs> Already my quick minute. <laughs> Perfect. You have our gratitude, Mr. Tobias. When I heard about the incident at Stokes, I knew you were in trouble. I called a few friends from my old flying days, and we came as quickly as possible. Thank you. Ah, enough already. We have to get out of here. Trent, take point. We'll follow you. Skin. Cargo. Hmm. Dock. Skin. Cargo. Tobias, why do you have a heavy fighter shield? This is a normal light fighter shield. Tobias has a heavy fighter shield. So much bullshit. Absolutely fair enough. I will only play to, uh, until Kyushu as well. So... Basically, just finish up this mission, and Radar then that'll clear. be it for today. Looks like we managed to shake them. The next trade lane takes us to the Tau Twenty Nine Gate. From there, it's just a short flight to Shinkaku. <laughs> How wonderful! We saw we saw the battleship spawn in there real quick. <laughs> Wonderful. Absolutely marvelous. It's strange that there are no ships around here. Outpost Holman? <gasps> Look at that! There, yeah. <laughs> I could select it very quickly. We only have one chance. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Quick, let's get out of here. Tobias, we'll hold them off. Get these people to safety. Run! Thank you, my friends. This is the trade lane to the new Tau-23 gate. It's under construction on this end, but we should be able to use it. Mm -hmm. Well, shit's gone down over there. They're definitely doing damage, but since they're invincible, they can deal a lot of damage. Otherwise they would be toast by now. So, um, where are the gunboats? There, I see them. took nicely uh, they took a very nice amount of fire before That was that, and no damage taken. That's Wonderful. The other should be at the jump hole. Let's get out of here. Cargo, Jensen, shield deactivated. Give me some of that H fuel. Shield activated. Tractor, failure. Go to. Cargo, Jensen, shield Okay, one more element, and 
I think I'm gonna probably call it on Kali already. Hopefully the jump hole will be phase aligned. If not, we're in big trouble. You did well back there, boy. I'm proud of you. There you are. We were about to turn around and look for you. Are you being followed? No. We have to leave the system. What's the status of the jump hole? I've taken some readings. It seems to be phase aligned. We should be able to use it. Good. What are we waiting for? Let's go. God damn it, a lot of interruptions today, one second. Back all oh, the interruptions today. I am terribly sorry. Brent, you go first. I will make sure that no <sighs> us. Good. Let's finish this. Possible here, I suppose. I will land and Let's get Doc in. We should all land to make repairs and rearm ourselves. Trent, you go first. Let me dock, let me dock, let me dock. Thank you. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. <laughs> the video recording is a little bit tricky. Um, do you use Streamlab OBS or the normal OBS? Because I found with Streamlab things are quite a bit easier, personally. But that just may be me. I know I had some trouble setting it all up as well. And some things are still tricky to this day. Um, I know of... Uh, it, it may have been updated because uh, it's been quite a while since I, I've actually done this. Um, there were things that you had to get the encryption right, that you can make, um, if you have a, have a wrong encryption um, variant for the video. Um, th there are a few things that, hi that, that hang on that, so it's a little bit tricky to get that to work. I would recommend in this case, honestly, asking Google about it, since that's pretty much what I did when I started off. And um, I managed to make it work somehow, but it was a little bit uh, finicky, as they say. It's in a secret location on the far side of this system. The bartender gave me a set of coordinates. I'm uploading them now. My friends, I will take my leave from you now. If there is indeed a war coming between Rhineland and Bretonia, I am needed at home. I understand. Thank you for everything, Tobias. We will meet again, I promise. Trent, get these people to safety and find out what this artifact of yours mm. is all about. Good we will meet again, I promise. Yes, but right, we we'll never see him again. We have to be careful. The bartender warned me that Rhineland ships have been sighted in the area. He suggested that we fly through the methane field. It should mask our engine signatures. What did the bartender say about Cress? Not much. He told me that Cress frequently operates in this area, and then he gave me these coordinates. That's all. Unfortunately, the field will only provide us with cover for half of the way. After that, we'll have to fly through open space. Uh, after that, it gets nasty. We're at the edge of the field. From now on, we're without cover. So far, radar is clear. Oh my god. Looks like the whole damn Rhineland fleet... <laughs> the Rhineland ship, the battleship comes the without the animation. <laughs> Cut your engines and deactivate your weapon system. Prepare to be boarded. Yep, exactly. Pure screen capture is easy to take. But, um... 
having a specific program is a bit of an issue. Need to go set for window recording, select the um, window or have it um, target a full screen window, which usually works for me with the games. I have to make sure the games are also either window mode, um, full screen or um, borderless window depending on the settings you make for the OBS. And then it usually works, but there are some games that are way more tricky. Because I know I, with the Crossfire mod, for example, I did have quite a bit of, uh, quite a few issues with recording the specific window. Because it didn't work for some reason. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the most I can say to it, sadly. It's probably for the best, fuck my life. It's probably for the best to... No, no. It's probably for the best to, um... To ask that question towards Google. Oh, Okay, this mission will be my grave. Why is this gunboat following me? God damn it. Um, Juni, why are you following me? I ask of you that you do not. You are very welcome. I wish I could help you a little bit better on that note, but it is, as I said, it is very tricky. It is a bit finicky to get that all properly working. And it's very depending on the programs, in my experience at least. Still alive. Still alive. Restored. Thankfully, my allies are still. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. Oh, the, cr the gunboats. I gotta try to play this reasonably low risk, especially later. I mean, after this, I will get a new ship, no problem. But I need to play this somewhat. With less risk soon. Gonna try to keep it safer somehow. Not sure how, but somehow. Yeah, Juni, because you don't have to worry to about dying. Because you're damn invincible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battleship. Yes. And just the last gunboat. Wonderful. Whew. Okay. That worked. We're at the coordinates. Excellent. Oh. Disengage and return home. 
Um, hate to break to you, but you're the only one left. <laughs> ah, that was way too close for my liking, but it worked out. Oh god. Thanks. Chicago contacted us. Cress immediately sent us to find you. Rhineland ships have been spotted in this system for several days now. When we heard that Quintain was on Shinkaku, we knew he'd likely run into trouble. We were getting worried. We should be safe now, but we need to keep moving. The jump hole to Tau 23 is near. Trent, I've uploaded the coordinates. Let's go. Be careful in the methane field. Certain pockets are explosive and could damage our ships. Mm -hmm. The problem here with the um, with the methane pockets that are supposedly explosive, I do remember them. Why aren't, aren't they exploding? They should be exploding, and I do remember them actually dealing dealing a little bit of damage. But in the last few times, I'm, I'm not I'm not quite sure honestly if they exploded the last time. So I flew I flew through here. Are you taking us to but I do know they used to, yes. and they, it, it didn't do outcasts. much damage, but I also you, remember yeah. them the recently ball. not doing any damage. Oh, thought so, that is, this must be a glitch. But I also remember them exploding um, in the last, at some point during the last playthroughs, not and not doing base. any damage. Well, I'm reasonably sure to remember from back in the day that they do a bit of damage. Not very much, but they do damage. Both BMM and IMG are maintaining bases here, since rich deposits of beryllium and niobium have been found. Might also be that my memory is just totally skewed. I mean, not not gonna rule that out. But um, I don't know. I have to double check with the with the very original version that I used to play with always. If if they if they explode and deal damage or not. And perhaps also check the recording, because maybe I didn't pay close enough attention. Approaching ships. Identify yourself. I, I don't want to rule out anything, it's just We're just what I feel. You know? We're expected. I just feel like this uh, this this doesn't work as it's supposed to. Sinclair should stay with the ships. Quiet. Just need to find Cress. Exactly. Just that's what I have in my mind as well. State your business. And also, and there were also scaling versions of those because some did more damage than others. There were a few more regions of those kind. No one. Don't go and do that. Now that I've got your attention, take us to see the Colonel. I think, my friend, you misunderstand your position. I'm expendable. <laughs> he just despawns in the background and respawns, re-enters the screen with a gun in his head. I love it. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that you're all right after all. And you brought protection. Very wise. Please tell him to stand down. Mr. Trent. Come, Dr. Quintain. We have much to talk about. Let me offer you the sanctuary of my base. Thank you. I'm reasonably I'm sure there is a scaling. Our research. We have facilities at your disposal, of course. You see, we've I think, for example, the ones in um, quite some time. When the in Sigma 13 are, in my opinion, more dangerous than these here. At least from memory. Let's I'd have to research that as well and do a bit of te a do a few answer. tests. But I'm pretty for? sure it was like that. The order. You work for Aurelian. Despite what you And I know they absolutely wreck you when you don't have shields. <laughs> That's so, then why all of the attacks? I understand your suspicion, but we are not guilty of nearly as much as your media would suggest. For now, please accept my hospitality and the spirit in which it is offered. Tell me, what else do you require of me? What if I'm right? There's something we've overlooked. We need the Proteus Tome. What's that? 
It's a piece of parchment that rests in the Natural History Museum in Kasari. I think it holds the answer to the artifact. It's kept in a sealed titanium cylinder in the archives. Very well. That shouldn't be difficult. We have an agent in Kusari who may be useful for this. Lord Hakira. He's a local potentate. He can arrange for its liberation. No dice, Crash. I'm going myself. You don't really trust me, do you, Mr. Trent? No. But if, as you say, your enemies are our enemies, you won't deny me this. Or me. If you're going, I'm going. Can I? Yes. Make a bit of cash here. I'll not be able to make more cash. Cardamine. I think that was fetching a good price with the GC. So I'm gonna buy some to put up my market value. Might be a dumb idea, but at the end of the day it will increase my... Um, go for that, just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, but the GC, that that's okay, I'm neutral with them, so I can or make a few shipments and increase my overall money buffer there a little bit, though I'm probably also inflating my net worth by more, I would usually do. Not 100% sure how the exact net worth calculation for goods works. Because I know it can be, um, let's say it can be used to cheese a few closer calls with the, um, with the required wealth, uh, with the required worth for the next level. I gotta see how that actually works out for me in this case. If I will be have more net worth after selling that or less. Thank you. All right, Trent. Go ahead. Dog. I mean, technically, I could even keep this ship until we get to until we get the mission from Juni. And Kazari is absolutely safe, technically speaking. There is absolutely no threat in um, Kazari when you just entered it. The Blood Dragons are neutral, GC are neutral, the Outcasts are now also neutral. There is no threat. Unless I go to the lower ends of Shikoku where the Rogues and Lion Hackers are residing. So I'm absolutely safe here. I didn't I wouldn't even need to exchange ship. Huh. Now that's a thought. Then maybe I just shouldn't. Maybe I should just keep the ship until the level up. Hmm. Funny, I used to fly around hmm. this asteroid field when I was younger. Tough choice. My grandmother lives on Tsushima Station above Aso. I haven't been back here in over a decade. I'll think about it until the next stream. <laughs> I'll think about it. Both options are nice, but at the end, I will end up with a higher worth when I um, buy the new ship by the Drake. Um, up next by the Drake soon because if I buy it after oh. the level up my overall net worth will be lower than with the level up and the net worth as I learned um, is is important for drop chances and um, yeah from for loot so if I want to continue to have decent loot, I should probably keep my worth as high as possible. That would mean buy the new ship and then deal the drugs. <laughs> that would be the logical decision from that end. Stop. 
Also, then I don't have to see my ship on goddamn fire all the time. <laughs> Cause I don't really feel like that. Mr. Trent, Miss Zane, Lord Hakira, you would be coming. I'm Lord Hakira. I am the prefect of Honshu. Is there a problem? I'm sorry, you're just not what I expected. You expected a terrorist, then. I serve the order to help my people, Mr. Trent. I understand that you are here for the Proteus Tome. Unfortunately, that will not be easy. The artifacts in the museum have come under renewed scrutiny. I will need to secure a special permission for us to be allowed access. Lord Akira. Please excuse me. I've recently lost contact with one of my operatives in Rhineland. This may be news. Yeah, not having the ship on fire might actually be the biggest the uh, might be the biggest reason for me That's to do this. <laughs> what are we supposed to do now? While it's Wait. fun to see my Why ship on fire, if there is no actual danger, to them, we're gonna have to it gets for a while. boring what and just annoying. To do here while you're gone? Yeah, you should try to fit in a little, maybe get some work. By the sound of things, this may take a while. Don't worry, I won't be far. And the new ship may have a bit more cargo, actually. Let's have a look at that. I'm gonna do that, and then it's the end for today. I could also buy the Hawk here, but holy hell no, I will not do that. If I buy the Hawk... Oh, the Hawk is even better than the Drake. This is such a shame. Um, in any case, I will buy the Drake. I will have exactly the same cargo, so nothing's lost. Now I have complete Class 5 weaponry. That is not too bad. Even though the projectile speeds and such are different, but I will have to work with this for the moment. I'm gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, I mean, for the moment, I can just stick with this shield. Nothing is lost on me for that. Yeah, that's absolutely horrendous. Okay. And with the rest, this... They all have such a low range. Hmm... <laughs> Would've would've technically been an option to get the Piranha just for shipping stuff back and forth without using my options here. But let's be honest, since we just established, I don't really have a threat here. And I will not be attacked unless I do take hostile actions against those factions. It would be a bit of a waste of time, I think, to go back for the Piranha. And basically then exchange ship again to properly do the missions here. Because the Piranha will definitely be too weak to properly hold itself in the shootout, especially when I cannot repair myself. That was the only saving grace of the um, of the Starflyer challenge, that I could repair myself to no end. I will not have that option here. So best use um, what I can use. And that is for now the Drake and afterwards the Hawk. For probably the rest of the game. <laughs> oh god. So I gotta I gotta do this smart as or as smart as I can. Okay. Good. But this is gonna be the end for today. Next time we'll do a little bit of smuggling. How much cash do I even need? 70 oh, pff, okay. <laughs> Next time will be a little bit of smuggling the cardamine. mine. From Kali to the GC base um, of the Anui Depot, I think it was in Hokkaido, and um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how much cash that brings. If it's not enough, we're gonna do something else. If it is enough, wonderful. Then we're gonna do that two or three times or so, and go up into the next mission risk-free, so that I may be able to win this challenge. <laughs> I say thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, perhaps even tomorrow. Let's see. Have a good one. Be well. Stay healthy. Goodbye.